Well, it's no secret to anyone that the real estate bust was at, really at the root of the recession that we've all been enduring. And of course, that has turned into opportunity for people who want to invest in real estate. Prices are really at all-time lows for many parts of the country. We're talking with Mr. Bart Marr. He is with Arizona Investment Link. Uh, so basically, your company helps people get through this inventory that's out there, kind of like a one-stop shop. Right. We're helping people invest their money and, and make a substantial return. We've got a machinery in place which will allow people to pick up property at foreclosure auction at wholesale or below prices. Uh, we rehab, remodel the property in 10 days or less. Our clients pay cost, uh, and really that's it. So they're saving thousands of dollars there. And then we turn and sell the property at a discounted commission. So our goal is to get our investors in and out in as short a period of time as possible, yielding anywhere from you know 5 to 7% per quarter. Let me ask you a question. I mean, I imagine you're dealing with three different types of clientele. You have ones who want to come in, buy it, and flip it. You have ones who want to come in, buy it, maybe turn it into rental property. Maybe you have some that are looking for a bargain in real estate, want to buy it, and move in. We've met all three people today. We've met, three <laughs> we, people we, today. We've met them all today. Uh, we actually have a number of people now that are converting their 401ks and IRAs into self-directed checkbook control. They're able to purchase property, get in and out, and as long as they account for the dollars. Um, there's no, you know. And that's really interesting because I wasn't aware people were doing that. So they're using yeah. their retirement plans, as you said, their 401ks, investing in real estate right. and maybe turning around and flipping it and basically able to, uh, to categorize those profits and, and exactly. maintain within the rules of 401k. It's their retirement account. They've been able to do it for 30 plus years. Uh, but no, no stockbroker or bank executive is going to tell them that. Yeah. Okay. So you're, you're giving people that option. Uh, of the three categories that I mentioned, uh, whom do you seem to be doing the most business with? Uh, the fix and flippers. Okay. They like the quick cash. Uh, you know, they're in and out now. With with such a return, uh, comes a little bit of risk. Uh, not nearly as much as the stock market, but there is a little bit of risk. The uh, the buy and hold landlord. We actually have a solution for that called the Fresh Start Home Ownership Program, where they are um, they're selling with owner financing. They're achieving a premium on the sale of the property. And they're they're uh, less involved. They don't have to be the landlord taking okay. the calls in the middle of the night. Okay. Uh, it's mailbox money. Now, for the ones that are in the fix and flip business, that was one of the problems that caused the real estate bust because there were so many people that saw the TV shows flip this and turn this house around, and everybody became a real estate speculator. And many many people were buying homes. They had absolutely no intention of even making that first mortgage payment, thinking they were going to flip the home in 30 right, days. Right. Right. That problem, is that exasperating or is that, is that uh, disappearing? No, the investors are really the only thing driving the real estate market right okay. now. Our investors are all in a cash position. Uh, there aren't mortgages that will default from this. The biggest problem, Don, was people were obtaining mortgages they shouldn't have obtained. Right. Right. Uh, they, were, they were coming in with little or no money down and they had no skin in the game. Uh, right now, I don't know, maybe a third, maybe 20% of the mortgages in foreclosure are people electing to walk away because they're so, off, uh, so far upside down. So uh, we don't see that issue uh, with, with investment real estate. Well, well, back in the crazy days, we saw people who were W-2 wage earners getting loans on stated income. Right. So in order to qualify for, say, a $750,000 home, they were making $80,000 on W-2. They told the mortgage broker, well, put down 150. Sure. And the mortgage broker went along with it because everybody, everybody was in the daisy chain of uh, trying to profit from this real estate boom. And all it took was two guys on one block to not make their mortgage payments. And all of a sudden, that whole block came down. Down the music stopped and there weren't chairs for everyone. <laughs> I like that. So uh, if people want to know more about your company, is there a website they can go to? ArizonaInvestmentLink.com. Okay, Bart Marr, ArizonaInvestmentLink.com. If you want to know more about investing in foreclosed property in Arizona, that's the link to go to. Thanks so much.